hey, this is Chris Crawford, Chris Crawford Knives. I got this little Skagel style um, slip joint that I put together a few days ago. And when I put the knife together, I think that I pinned the pivot at an angle and it caused the blade to shift a little. So the blade's laying a little off center. It's really been bugging me. So what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to take out the pivot pin, figure out how to film it, and uh, maybe just make a little instructional video out of it. So let's get started. All right, so my idea here is I wanna drill out this, this pivot. And um, I'm gonna do that with a 16th inch drill. This is a 332nd inch pin. And I'm gonna go with a 16th inch drill, but I wanna make sure that I go right in the middle. Once I get my hole with a 16th inch uh, drill, then I may go 332nd just to kind of try to take some of the top off. Now, I call this the show side of the knife. I'm probably gonna be doing most of my drilling on the back side. That way, if I ruin this handle, I can. it'll be easier to make the, remake this handle than it is this one since I've got the inlay in it. Now, what I've got here is this is a little 132nd inch drill um, in this little, I don't know, little hand vise thing. It was, it was longer, I cut it off. But what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna get right in the center of that and I'm gonna start a little um, hole. Now, I'm not really drilling much with this. I'm mainly just trying to get something started. So I don't know if you can see this in the light but I, I've got it dead center. I've got just a little bitty, little bitty um, indention started there. So I'm gonna keep going with this. And what this is gonna do is this basically gonna give me a place for my neck size up drill to, to get go into. All right, what I've done here is made a little bitty, I guess you call it hole or divot or whatever on each side. Uh, best I could right in the center using that 132nd, uh, just hand turning it to get me something started. So hopefully I think you can probably see that right there. Now, I got my uh, rotary vise set up. You don't have to use a rotary vise. The reason I'm using my rotary vise is because I've got a hole in the middle for my pivot pin and um, for holding uh, handles down and stuff. But I've got a 132nd inch pin in there turned upside down and secured in there so that it doesn't move. And I have all this locked and secured so that it doesn't move. And I put the pin in my battery drill and made a, a, a point on there. And then I was very careful to get this 1 16th inch drill bit lined up so that it, it comes straight down right there. So the idea is to get the, get the knife, i get down here where I can see, to get that divot right on the, um, probably in the way there, right on that pin. There we go. And so now that I know I'm on it, I mean, I can, I can wiggle it around. It's not sliding. What this is going to allow me to do is come straight down if I can get it lined up right there and hopefully drill out right in the center uh, of that pin. So let's see, I'm not going to go real deep. wanting to move on me a little bit but I stay the course there all right as you can see here it's it moved on me a little bit it's a little off center but uh but I've got it got it started there. All right, I, I cleaned it off and examined it and the holes is worked off center. The reason is I think there was a, I probably should have had, see that play in the drill bit? I think it was pushing off. I really, really probably should have. In fact, I'll go ahead and do that. I should probably have my um, tip chucked up as high as I could so that it wouldn't uh, flex on me. But what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm gonna try to get get it a little bit more uh, to the side where it where it didn't cut, like back up this way. And the way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna move my table 
a little bit so that I can put this at an angle and come kind of straight down at the angle. So we'll see, we'll see if this works. It may not, we'll give it a go here. All right, it may have done it a little bit. I may have, I may have enough out um, for what I'm going to need to do next. All right, what I've got here is on my Dremel flex shaft. I've got a 364 um, carbide ball end four fluted end mill. And so basically, I'm just going to go in here and try to uh, open this up a little bit where. You know, using my, that 16th inch hole gives me somewhere to kind of start and to try to open this up around here to um, get, get the head off that pin, so. Now that I've got that hole, you know, boogered out a little bit, wallered out a little bit, I want to punch that pin out from this side. I want it to, want it to come out over here. Um, the problem is that it's got a pretty good spring on there, and there's a lot of tension on that pin. So I want to take the tension off the pin. I also want to place, I got this little block here with a hole in it. I want to place the pin over there so that I can drive it out. So this is the way I'm going to take the tension off. Got a little shim I'm going to put in here like this. I don't want to mar up the back. So I'm going to put a piece of uh, leather right there. Then I got a C-clamp. And if I can hold everything in place, I can put pressure on the C-clamp and it's going to raise the spring. Let's see, I probably this thing slid on me. Let me get it back up in there. Sorry if I'm blocking it out. There we go. All right. Did you see that? Watch the blade. See that? So there's no tension on the blade now, okay? So flip it over this way. Get it over my hole. I'm gonna use my optimizer so I can see all this. I've got a 1 16th inch pin. I'm going to put in the middle of this hole. And I apologize if I block everything out. I'm trying to hold everything secure. Just gently tap it. You hear the sound changing. If you look, you can see pins coming out. So we'll just keep going with it. Sounds like it's about out. Here it is. Pop it all the way out. So I'm about to drop everything. Well now, <laughs> I just put I just released my spring tension. Uh, come over here with me to the to the vise around this side wheel. I just released my spring tension when that uh, when that stuff fell off, so I'll just put it back over here. And Get it back, get it back going. There we go. So I got my blade removed. 
And it looks like I didn't do uh, do I didn't do any damage on this side. It looks like I didn't really do much damage uh, on that side as well. So hopefully that'll help you. Uh, it was kind of trial and error. It looked like it worked out in the end, but I uh, hope that helps you out.